So how to estimate how big this China explosion was using only this piece of footage? Well, firstly, you're going to need to know how big that fireball was. And in order to do that, you need to know how far away it was. Thankfully, we know when the explosion happens. That's the flash. And we know that sound travels about one kilometer in three seconds. So when the sound arrives, we know how long it took between the flash and the sound arriving. And just like with thunder and lightning, that means you can calculate how far away it was. So this fireball's about 2.3 kilometers away. Now we need to know how angularly big that fireball is. Now I'm going to guess this is a regular smartphone designed such that people can take selfies with it. Which would mean if I were to hold this phone at say a one meter distance at arm's length, then my head, about 13 centimeters, would take up about half of the field of view. So we can just simply scale up from that, that this fireball is about 2.3 kilometers away, not just one meter. And so what would occupy about the same angular size as my head at one meter would be about 300 meters at this distance. That's a big ass fireball. That would incinerate Yankee Stadium without even breaking a sweat. Now at this point you might be thinking that the estimated quote on the news sources are kind of low at about 20 tons because really that's like only the size of a Moab bomb. So let's do a rough ballpark calculation for how many tons of TNT equivalent you would need to make this 300 meter fireball. Well, one mole of TNT weighs about a quarter of a kilo. And when that explodes, it gives off about seven moles of gas or 150 liters when it explodes. Apart from that gas, is not at room temperature. It's at 2000 degrees, which would mean it would really make a fireball about seven times bigger. So if you would detonate about a quarter of a kilo of TNT, you would get a fireball of about one cubic meter in size. So our 300 meter fireball here has a volume of about 14 million cubic meters and therefore would require about 3,000 tons of TNT. Honestly, that sounds a bit on the high side to me. So I was scratching around and seeing what else I could find out. And it turns out that those buildings in the foreground are about 17 story buildings or about 50 meters high. And at that, you can maybe cut the estimate of the fireball diameter down to about half. So reduce the fireball size from 300 meters to about 150 meters. That means you would reduce the volume of the fireball by a factor of eight. So yeah, let's just call it 10, which would mean that you would still be looking at about a 300 ton equivalent of TNT here. So yeah, the Chinese estimate of merely 20 tons here does seem kind of on the low side, especially seeing the devastation that was wrought by it.